I'm a Winamp user and I'm just going to talk to you a little bit about how the rating system works in the latest version of Winamp. Um, so basically I decided I'd rated a lot of my songs and I wanted to be able to uh, have those recorded into the mp3 file so that whenever my media library file gets corrupted or lost, which inevitably it will, I'll be able to uh, not have to worry about it because they'd all be there when I next imported them back into Winamp. So first of all I had to look on the forums to find out a way of actually having Winamp do that because uh, I'd already googled around and seen that it doesn't actually do it by default. Um, apparently there's a configuration directive implemented for it but the way I found to uh, enable storing uh, ratings was to uh, configure myself a configuration file. So basically you find this in the application uh, data folder. Do this by opening up an explorer window and doing percent app data percent. Take yourself there, find Winamp uh, plugins, and it's gen underscore ml dot ini. Double click that. Just go down to the bottom. Actually, it's probably worth doing a search first. If you press Control F in Notepad, search for uh, right ratings. See if it actually finds it first. If it doesn't, then obviously append it to the bottom. Write ratings equals one. Close that. If you reload Winamp, then which I've already done, um, you'll find that from now on, whenever you set ratings, it will record them to the file. Now, if you've already rated all of your songs and you want those to be committed to the actual files, um, then a sort of trick I found for doing that is to go to your top rated uh, folder here. All of your music in there that you've previously rated shows up. Um, if we open up the file here and we load this into a hex editor, um, you can see that this already has it in there. So POPM, that's the header ID for the popular meter, which is what the ID3 V2 tag developers call it. Um, the email address of the user who set the rating and a hexadecimal value here which states um, what the rating actually is because the rating is not stored as a star obviously it's stored as a hexadecimal number between 0 and 255. Now Winamp developers have decided to use this system here so uh, one star is actually zero, two is 64, three is 128, four is 192 and five is 255 which is a bit unusual because a lot of other players, from what I've heard on forums anyway, um, use a system between 0 and 100, 0 for 0 stars, 20 for 1 star, etc. 5 stars is 100. Um, and I'm pretty sure that's the case with iTunes as well, also from what I've heard. I haven't checked, but um, if you're planning on writing a script which will convert your iTunes Media XML library file into um, ratings which you can then automatically write into uh, the mp3 files or import into your Winamp database or whatever. Um, you might want to check for that to make sure that you're properly interpreting the ratings um, from stars between the two players. Um, that's that. So uh, back to where I was saying to speed things up here. I've already done a few of these. This one's actually a FLAC file so let's have a look at this one here. Load that in here. Um, and my value for ratings is there so obviously we haven't got the normal pop m stuff because this is a flac file that's stored slightly differently in here but as you can see the developers have also chosen to use between 0 and 255 here so i've rated this one five stars and it's put there that's the extra decimal value for 255 as represented by ascii so that's why it's looking like that um so let's assume that these don't already have ratings let's not bother assuming, let's just take the rating out. So if I take it out like that, let's just confirm now that the rating is gone by viewing the file in next decimal. So we see there's no value for pop m here anymore. Um, if I now then set this to five stars, which um, should record it into the file because remember we changed that configuration directive earlier, the INI file, reload it, and now we do have pop m. The rating email is poured in there and the, the hexadecimal value for five stars has been put in. So, all of these, if we assume, aren't yet five stars. Select them all, all up to your five stars, because what's going to happen when you take away the five stars? 
um, obviously they'll disappear but they'll still say in your selection view even though they're not any more five star rated they're still saying your top rated folder right click rate items no rating now all of the ratings been removed from the files uh, I think if we reload this we should spot see uh, 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 hex 255 values disappeared so now we we'll go through and we'll rate these again five stars all the way down to when obviously the stars start up again they should start up again at four stars obviously because you selected all of the five star songs all the while uh, Winamp's chugging away writing in your ratings that took you so long Okay, so that's all done. We'll reload this file now just to give an example of whether it actually worked. Yes, it did. See, it's done it for this one. Let's just assume it's done it for all of them. Um, and so obviously what's important is that you did properly select all of the same value stars so that you knew where you left off when you get to the bottom. And uh, do the same for all of these. And that's great it's all in there there's one other way that you can determine whether or not you're actually writing to files if you've changed the uh, configuration directive and you're not sure it's actually doing it you don't believe it's doing it um, you can play a song when you change the rating you should hear the song skip because Winamp's actually stopping the file closing it reopening it to edit in your new rating and then opening it again to carry on the playback um, whereas if you don't have that configuration directive set up then it won't skip change your music at all because it doesn't need to close and reopen the music file it just writes it straight into the library file so that's one way to determine whether you're actually writing the ratings to the file other than that I hope this uh, little video tip's been useful um, it's been a great distraction for me from my studies <laughs>